Welcome to the video guide of the Flashy Science Leslie Cube and Infrared Emission Experiment. On the screen is a Leslie Cube with four different surfaces. An infrared detector mounted on a ruler, a lid for the Leslie Cube and a thermometer that fits through the lid, a signal amplifier, a digital multimeter, a kettle and a flask for resetting the experiment. Click on the kettle to fill it with water, which is shown by the change in the water level window. Then click on the kettle's power button to boil the water. The power light changes from red to green when this is done. Now click and drag the kettle to lie above the Leslie cube and click on it again to pour water into the cube. This happens automatically and once complete the lid is placed on the cube and the thermometer inserted through the lid. Click on the thermometer to see a zoomed view of the temperature scale. Currently the thermometer is equilibrating with the water and so is showing an increasing temperature. The temperature will reach a maximum and then slowly reduce as the water cools. While this is happening, let's explore how the rest of the experiment can be operated. Click on this power button to turn on the signal amplifier. The dial shows different levels of amplification, which can be useful for small signal levels, but remember to record the amplification you use in any measurement. The signal output from the amplifier is displayed on the screen of the digital multimeter or DMM. To turn on the DMM, click and drag its rotating switch from off to the first setting, which represents DC potential difference in volts. Now the signal is so high at first that the DMM is overloaded. To reduce the signal, click and drag on the infrared detector mount and move it farther from the Leslie cube until a numerical value is seen on the DMM screen. The position of the detector mount on the ruler can be viewed more easily by clicking on the mount and holding the mouse button down. This shows a zoomed view of the ruler's centimeter scale. At large separations between the Leslie cube and the detector, the signal reduces significantly and experimental noise means there is greater uncertainty in the measured value. This is where increasing the signal amplification can help to obtain more reliable measurements. Clicking on the Leslie cube rotates it by 90 degrees to allow the infrared emission from different surface finishes to be investigated. The initial surface, surface 1, is coated with black paint. Surface 2 is white paint. Surface 3 is matte or rough metal. And surface 4 is shiny or polished metal. Notice that the signal changes when each surface is chosen. The temperature on the thermometer is now reducing slowly. Experiments at constant temperature can be performed quickly or at the same point after refilling the Leslie cube with hot water multiple times. Alternatively, the gradually cooling water allows the temperature dependence of infrared emission from surfaces to be investigated. Click on the reset flask to return the experiment to its initial appearance. You can now refill the kettle, boil the water and pour it into the Leslie cube again to restart the measurements. The experiment also has additional functionality that you can access via this icon in the top left of the screen. This opens a menu with five more icons. The first icon simply closes the menu again. The second icon returns you to the experiment when you're on a question screen. We'll come to those shortly. The third is the click information icon. Clicking this will select all of the areas on the screen that can be clicked to control the experiment. The fourth icon opens a screen of questions directly related to the experiment you might have just performed. The final icon opens revision questions that cover the area of infrared emission more generally. We hope you enjoy using this flashy science experiment.